everybody, my name is Lee. And sorry if this is a little bit rough, I'm using uh, not ideal hardware to make this, but I just wanted to make a short video introducing um, a couple tools that I made and a new project that I'm working on called Today I Learned. And this is a New Year's resolution. So this is uh, the beginning of 2022. And uh, I stumbled across this super cool resource from Josh Brinshow called TIL. Um, and literally it's just a, a GitHub repo full of uh, markdown files in various folders based on topics. So, you know, if you wanted to learn about building a React app in the browser, um, you would find this file and read a little bit about it. So um, I was really inspired by this. I thought this is a super cool idea. Um, I love that these are really short and it encourages having a lot of them. Um, and Josh also mentioned that this was uh, his way of following along with this great article by, by Sean Wang called Learning in Public. Um, highly recommend reading this article. Uh, and, you know, I, I couldn't agree more with a lot of it, but the, the kind of line that I love for, about this is this idea of um, having a habit or creating habits to create learning exhaust. So, you know, we're always learning, but um, how can we leave things behind us to help others learn better in our wake? Um, so I really love both of these ideas and I thought I wanted to incorporate them into my New Year's resolution. So um, I started a similar project and mine is also just a list of these small things. And, you know, it reminds me a lot of microblogging, like uh, before Twitter, microblogging, uh, where they're blog posts, but they're they're quite small um, and minimally structured. So I, I've tried to start blogs in the past and I've always kind of failed to keep them up to date. Um, I think for two reasons, the first being uh, the the content quality, um, you know, blog posts, you want to write something that you're an expert on. And uh, I don't always feel like I'm an expert on that many things. And so I love that this idea is it's more about documenting the learning process than it is about writing about something authoritative. Um, and uh, also with the with the blog post, I was often trying to get a big idea out and I would write a lot. And um, that was a huge barrier for me. And so the idea that these are going to be very short uh, and by things that I are not, not necessarily the authority on, um, that removes a lot of roadblocks for me. So hopefully it gets this, this gets me writing more. The other reason why in the past I've, I've really failed to keep blogs up to date is the tooling. So, you know, going into some content management tool and creating a new post and it's a lot of clicking around and, uh, you know, proofreading and spell checking and asking for a friend to do an edit pass and just the actual like editorial process and the tooling involved is just full of roadblocks. And, you know, I think this is where um, a lot of the social media has really thrived. So, you know, Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, um, it's all about removing as much friction in the tooling as possible. So in addition to this site, I've also made a tool for myself that hopefully helps. And I just wanted to kind of show how this worked. Um, I also, at the beginning of the year, I switched to Vim as my, my primary text editor. So I've been on a kick of moving as many tools into the command line as I can. So I'm trying to kick myself back a decade or two. So anyhow, um, the tool is called TIL. Um, I can run it from anywhere that I happen to be. And if I just run TIL, what it's gonna do is show me all of the TILs that I've written before. And um, I didn't create this interface, by the way, this interface is FZF or Fuzzy Finder, um, super fantastic tool. So uh, most of what my TIL tool does is glue together other tools. So it glues together the FZS tool. Um, and by the way, if I hit enter, then I would be able to start editing one of these files right away. That's not what I want to do. So I'm going to hit escape. Um, if I type TIL and then the name of something, so let's say today I learned how to record a screencast and hit enter. Uh, what that's going to do is populate a template and open Vim. And from within Vim, um, I can just see it already puts me in insert mode. It already puts me at the bottom of the file. Um, and um, I could write something useful here. I'm live streaming. So I'll come back to this layer. Um, Vim is super cool. It's got a lot of you know spell checking involved. So if I get out of insert mode, 
Um, yep, one, that's what I wanted, live streaming. Uh, and then as soon as I'm done with this, I can save and quit. And as soon as I do that, um, you see the little spinner here and it is publishing it. So now it says it is published how to record a screencast. Um, if I type TIL again, then how to record a screencast is right there in alphabetical order. Um, again, I could hit enter and re-edit this. Um, if I quit it, then um, it'll look for changes actually. It sees that there are no changes and so it doesn't do anything. Uh, but so what happens when I did that? Well, really, like I said, this is just gluing together tools. It glues together Git, it glues together FZF, um, it glues together Vim. And so after this is done, uh, what it's doing is it's pushing it to my repo. And I have a GitHub action that runs my website builder. Um, and you can see this one is in flight. It did, it's doing its deploy step right now. And so as soon as this deploy step is finished, then that new page should be on the website. Um, sometimes GitHub takes a minute. So uh, while it does that, I'll show you some of the other posts that I've made so far. Oh, it's, it is there. Okay. So the, the GitHub UI was just falling behind. So I just reloaded the page and you can see now in my entry log at the top here, um, I'm recording this on Friday afternoon. Um, if I click into how to record a screencast, there it is. And um, so I've, I've just put a couple of these in here. This is the sort of the end of the first week of the year. Um, my goal is to write one of these every day and um, at least one a day and hopefully build up a corpus of things um, that I either want to remember for myself uh, or things that I think are interesting that I want to write down and just sort of make sure that I, I don't forget them. And hopefully I have a useful link that I can point other people to. Um, so anyhow, this tool is mostly written in a state where it only works on my machine. Um, I have sort of written it with the the idea that it could be um, pulled apart. So uh, I've tried to do a reasonable job at keeping my dependencies um, in check so that the things that are generic and are in one place and the things that sort of configure it with my own logo and my own website style um, are in a separate file with minimal imported dependencies. So uh, technically it would be possible to um, to distribute a version of this tool that you could use to set up your own TIL site. Uh, if that's interesting to you, then um, let me know about it. So uh, this is my repo, it is public, um, Lee Byron slash TIL on GitHub. And um, feel free to pop open an issue and uh, talk to me about this. So um, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this is interesting. I'd love to hear what you think about it.